What's up everybody, Nate from AMEV here. I've got some exciting news to share with you. If you've seen some of our previous videos, you probably know about our black Testang. That's our Tesla powered Mustang EV swap car. So we decided, you know what? We already know S197 Mustangs. Let's build another one. And that's exactly what we did here. But what's unique about this car is that it's actually Ford powered. So obviously first and foremost, we have the Ford Performance Illuminator crate motor. So powering the Ford Illuminator drive unit is a Cascadia Motion CM200 inverter. We've also got our contactor box back here, some of our wiring, and of course, all this is being controlled by the AMEV VCU. So we have our M9000 Ford Illuminator crate motor, and it's great. This actually has the custom AMEV phase bar upgrade, new and improved connection solution we've got. We've beefed up the face cables, we've beefed up the phase bars inside the drive unit, and now it's solidly ready to make that full Ford performance power and get you down the road. The main part of adapting the independent rear suspension was to get the Tesla subframe into the car. We had some really nice mounts made up. They attach to the stock mounting points of the Tesla subframe. Uh, the Illuminator mounts kind of in a unique fashion. At the very top, across the arches of the subframe is a big bar with some bushings on the end that we, we fabricated and put up there. So we've got that going across that holds the drive unit up. Our torque bars that go to the rear cross member. We're running some QA1 coilovers, made some custom brackets. So we're mounting off the outer hub or knuckle. We run the coilover up to the car's stock shock mount. So one of the variables you have to figure out is where do you want to put your inverters? We actually cut out the old spare tire well and had a new box fabricated. So we give ourselves lots of room. We can put batteries in here in the future. We've got our Cascadia Motion CM200 mounted up in here. We're under the hood. Let's talk about the battery. This battery is made up of six LG Chem battery modules. So combined, they give us about 16 kilowatt hours of energy capacity, which isn't a lot, but nothing would prevent us from putting something much bigger in there. Down underneath here, straight from the Ford Performance catalog is the 11 to 14 electric power assist steering rack that we retrofitted to this slightly older chassis car. How do we control all this? How is all this working? That's being managed by the AMEV VCU 200. So the VCU 200 vehicle control unit is literally controlling all aspects of the car. What was really missing from the EV world was, was something that controlled all this and under one roof. VCU 200 gives you that solution. I'm gonna pass this off to Kirk Miller. He hasn't driven the car yet, I have. He's gonna get in it, take it for a run, and give his impressions. Great start, but we definitely need a limited slip. Let's hop in. Let's go for a ride. I don't know what it is with me in creep mode, but I just love the fact that it feels still like an automatic transmission car. And it scoots! <laughs> this could be a good commuter. Already, I'm digging it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just 65. Maybe five and a half, six seconds. I mean, this is a 3,800 pound car, right? Yeah and the illuminator makes enough power to really let you have fun. Imagine this going into a lighter car. See, that's... <laughs> Thank you, Ford. Good job. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Jose. Great job. That was awesome. As mentioned, it's not a beast, but it is fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put money on five and a half seconds, zero to 60-ish, but the, the creep mode, the maps, the torque switching that we have with our controls combined with the, the Cascadia inverter and obviously the heart and soul is the Illuminator uh, e-crate motor. They did a phenomenal job on the install and Ford, you did a great job giving us a power plant that's still a lot of fun, so thank you.